If you just started playing guitar, then bar chords are a big step up. So don't attempt them until you're happy playing power chords and open chords. And don't feel bad if you don't touch bar chords for as much as a year. It's really not a problem. We're going to give you an introduction to the first two bar chord shapes. These come from the E major and E minor chords you've already learned in the open chord section of the DVD. Play an E chord without using your first finger. Then move the E chord up one fret. Now lay your first finger across the first fret. This is an F chord. This is the major bar chord shape. Repeat this process with an E minor chord to get an F minor bar chord. This is the minor chord shape. So to summarize, you now have two bar chord shapes. Major and minor. Those shapes are example one in the mag. Now, because they have no open strings, they can be played anywhere on the neck. You need to know the notes on your guitar six string so you can play your bar chords at the correct fret. These are printed in the mag as example two. What you do is find the root note, that's the note the chord gets its name from, and that's where you play the chord. If you want to play a G major bar chord, find the G note on the sixth string. E, F, F sharp, G. Then play the major bar chord shape at that fret. Easy. If you wanted to play an A minor chord, you'd do the same. E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. But you'd play the minor shape. As I said earlier, bar chords are quite tricky to play, so if your hands start hurting, stop straight away. If you don't, you could do damage to your hands. Okay, let's do some playing. Example three has no strumming pattern, so you can concentrate on playing your new chord shapes. <laughs> 